A 33-year-old man has died in hospital after a house fire south of Brisbane. Talissa Saganto is in Logan. Talissa, what happens? Good morning, Joe. Well, sadly, police have confirmed this morning that 33-year-old Stanley Obi passed away in hospital overnight after suffering burns to 90% of his body. It comes after his former partner, Sarah Mudge, broke into his Logan home in Newbeath and used an accelerant to set light to the home. At the time, Mr Obi and his new partner were asleep inside. They did manage to escape and get help from neighbours. Uh, but obviously, Mr Obi was critically injured. Now, Ms Mudge also died in this house fire overnight, but police are yet to recover her body because there was so much damage to this house that it's been deemed unsafe to access. So it is expected that this will happen today once investigators can get back inside. Now, the other woman, she was taken to hospital as a precaution. She's expected to speak to police today. Obviously, investigations here are still underway and are in their early stages, Joe. but I can tell you that Obi and Mudge did have domestic violence orders taken out against each other. OK, Talissa Saganto reporting there from Logan, just south of Brisbane. And if this story has raised any issues for you, you can get help by calling the National Sexual Assault and Family Violence Counselling Helpline on 1800 RESPECT, which is 1800 737 732.